Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So today we got to talk about Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Now we saw Steph walking in the tunnel, Draymond Green dapping him up after Steph put the Orlando Magic to bed last night with a big shot. But Steph was clearly still kind of upset about everything that had transpired. Not really um, because of that particular game, but because he can see these sorts of things continuing to happen as the intensity increases headed into the playoff run or, you know, the play in wherever they get. It's clear that Draymond may do some things that compromises the team's ability to win and he cannot control his emotions in critical moments. Um, it has cost the team over the last couple of years, right? They really haven't quite been the same since the Jordan Poole hit you know what I'm saying and they had just won you know they had just won the ship uh and and it just kind of tapered off after that and they got an infusion of young talent right now so the Warriors are probably a little better than they've been playing I think style of place uh Steve Kerr not being able to adjust sometimes Trace Jackson Davis those guys get taken out of the rotation they cannot afford to do that anymore so that's just my piece but we're gonna listen to what Steph said and Jay Williams has something to say about ESPN trying to silence his voice when he was given a critique or a criticism about how some of the people that that are around the NBA is viewing Steph Curry's leadership as far as you know him being able to be the voice when needed in the locker room against the Golden State I mean for the Golden State Warriors and remember that's what I was saying last night that sometimes the best player even has to be able to out talk like a Draymond and when he speaks everybody shuts up and they fall in line and people are questioning whether that exists with Steph Curry so we gonna listen to all this man and I'll be bad let's peep what did what did you think of the Draymond injection uh, the way that they did because back to back you know the team as physical as they are we got contributions from everybody and it was a beautiful team effort to respond the way that we did and get this win um because we went and took it, and that's, that's a big sign for us, a sign of growth to be able to respond that way. The, the camera showed you pretty frustrated when he did get ejected. Is that, is, are you just thinking at that time what you just said, essentially? Yeah, you just, we, we know how important the season is. I'm getting texts from people that I really value their decision, right? High-level people. And... What these texts are reading is, well, how about the leadership of Stephen Curry? That's where these conversations are going. And in my brain, right, processing information, Molly. Wait, I what start, do you mean? How about the leadership of Stephen I'm Curry? They're calling this. Steph out? Yes. Oh. Right? For him not controlling Draymond. So in my, in, in my brain, the way I process is that is because I know Steph. I spent time around Steph. We were talking about this during Get Up. We wish we could have a camcorder in, in Steph's car, right? Yeah. Like all yeah. the things that Steph would be right. saying right. to uh, his wife and right. now he's frustrated about because he's one of the most competitive dudes you'll ever meet. No doubt. Draymond Green is diminishing the ultimate legacy of how people are looking at the leadership of Stephen Curry. That's what's happening will, right now. The only thing I will say, Jay, I think that's in a a group of people. I agree. I don't think that's like the universal mentality, right, is to think about Steph and where are you in this, Steph, at all. I do think there are people that are always going to be devil's advocate. They're contrarians. They're going to raise this kind of question about yeah. somebody. Well, to me, that's an ultimate I, statement. What does this I don't, have I don't to do wanna... with Steph, though? Like, what should Steph well, be doing here? What are what are these critics saying? These people are saying that Steph should not. Well, look, I disagree with them. Let me yeah, state yeah, that for yeah. the record, right? Because I know him. I know how things have been addressed yeah. internally multiple times. But what happens is perception is reality for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't familiar with things that are happening behind closed doors. So there's a tendency when you hear them talk about it, people just keep tiptoeing around it instead of calling Draymond Green out publicly. Now, yeah. I get that, right? Like, I understand that. That's not the case because we know what's going on, Legs. But that's what's happening, even if it is a smaller niche of people. Like, these are high-level people now that are starting to look at it that way. And by the way... Like, that to me is on Draymond. Yeah. That's on Draymond because I think Steph is taking the higher we road play the, and how to deal with it. Can we play the Steph sound again? Yeah. Cass, That's we, about as strong as you're going to get Can from we play from that him. really yeah. quick? Yeah. So we that's that. the way Steph deals right. with it. So first take, 
This is what we're going to do. My segment got clipped off when I said that Draymond Green is diminishing the ultimate legacy of Steph Curry. The reason why I said that, and nor on the back end of what I said, was that I had people that were texting me, talking about the leadership of Steph, which if the clip had continued, which it did not, but if it had continued, what I said is that I do not believe that to be the case. That I know who Steph is and I know how he operates and it doesn't do him any good speaking publicly when you hear about all the conversations they're having internally. But once again, the clip makes it sound as if I am the one that believes that his legacy is being diminished. When inevitably I said that I'm getting texts from people that are saying that when I do not believe that. So we're just clarifying, clearing things up because now when I'm getting a lot of people adding me saying that this is stupid, why would Jay will say that's not what I said. I do not believe it's diminishing the legacy of Steph Curry. His legacy speaks for itself. I'm saying outside interpretations from people that I'm getting texts from are saying that to me. And I wanted to dispel that. So let's just set things straight for what they are. So I'm not clear if he's talking about the clip that I just played because I kind of got that from the clip that I played or there was an initial clip on live air that was kind of cut and someone screenshot it or, you know, was DVR in it live and they took it down and they put it up because it looks like in the clip that I played, that's what Jay said, right? So, um, yeah, man, but it, it's a thing that's happening. I mean, people are going to naturally put that on Steph, especially if he's not demonstrative. Now, Steph was clear. I believe with how he felt about Draymond getting ejected and, you know, how this is continuing to persist. You know, if a ref make a call at this point, you eat that, especially in the first quarter. You know, um, you get a tech for doing too much, you being excessive. It's time to turn it down a little bit and at least save it to later in the game. But to go ahead and, and get ejected in the first quarter, that's very, very selfish. And it's not the way you should approach a game. I didn't even like when Draymond... Uh, jumped in the Clay's conversation when they was asking him about how he feel about coming off the bench and different things like that. And Clay um, and, and Draymond answered that question from behind. See, that tells me that it lacks some level of leadership from the two leaders because, you know, in, in that moment and how serious Clay was and, and the type of mo emotions he was battling at the time, you got to tell Draymond to shut up clear as day and really you shouldn't even have to tell him because he should know okay that's clay when he's serious you know or he's he's in this mode so i know right now isn't the time for me to play or to even over talk or overstep that's the word i'm looking for to overstep the boundaries that have been created you know by uncomfortable conversation interaction or even fight you know between us in the past because um tell you what man this this is how it's going to be viewed and i think that's what jay williams is hinted at you know whether it's fair or not we know that steph you know the way he answered that was clear the message is getting to draymond we saw what him and eagle dollar did when draymond was all up on lebron and all this other stuff but i think steph you know this is his idea of professionalism and steph don't want to create a media circus with his teammates so he's saying what he's saying um in public to not really put one of the cornerstones of the franchise out there at the same time though you um you want to know that he's being checked behind the scenes i think that's the only cause for concern that people really have it's not that steph isn't going off on um you know at the podium but they would love to see more like on the sideline where you can't quite make out what he's saying or you know, just them getting nose to nose at some point. Cause we know Draymond is, he may be acting crazy. He not hitting Steph Curry. You know, that, that would be probably career suicide for him. He probably wouldn't even be able to get a job nowhere else. He did that. So, um, you know, Steph, again, I think Steph's going to have to answer these questions about his leadership the more Draymond does this. And Steve Kerr going to have to answer it. And you saw the interaction between Steph and Steve Kerr. So it was like, man, I know you're tired of it. I'm tired of it too. We could pick up on the body language of what the guys were saying um, without saying anything. So that that's my take on it, man. Um, 
I, I kind of got what Jay Williams was saying. He's not saying he's saying it. He's saying the other people saying it. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.